okay? Are we good? We'll be okay. Uh, at this point, uh, your Spartans 22 and 12. You've won five in a row, and uh, your offense has really been clicking. Uh, have you given any thought to how many runs it might take to win this game, or how, uh, how uh, I guess, uh, potent your offense must be for, for you to overtake uh, East and, and win today? No, I, I think uh, it always takes just one more than the other team. That's, that's all you have to worry about. Not looking at a high-scoring game or a low-scoring game or just basically well, whatever can happen happens? Right. We're capable of scoring a lot of runs, and so are they. So <clears throat> anything can happen. At this point, do you know who uh, East is going to throw Coach Godwin? No, I'm not sure. No. Okay. Uh, a couple of injuries, a couple of players missed the game on Friday. Your shortstop, Ben Palmer, uh, your second baseman, Ryan Weeder, and also Jake Casper. Uh, what's the status on those three players? Well, that was a third of our team. Uh, ben, Ben's headache is better. I think he had a migraine, and he had to sit out. And Ryan Weeder had a back injury at a basketball camp, and he sat out a week. And I think he's practiced yesterday, and he'll be fine. And uh, Jake missed the game because of that the football all-star game. Yeah, Jake decided to do something else. So, Oh, he won't be playing today? No, he won't be playing today. He won't be playing today. When were you uh, made aware of that? On Sunday night. Okay, uh, obviously that takes uh, a good... Uh, a good uh, hitter out of your offense and uh, a legitimate uh, offensive threat and also a, a pretty good fielder. Uh, we, we played without him, so we just have to do it again. Okay, who will be taking Jake's place in the lineup? Uh, I don't know if we're play taking his place. We're just switching things around like we did for the week. Okay. And, uh, who played in his absence on Friday? We, we had uh, Wade Couture in center field and Spike Stoltz. Mm -hmm. Luke Pickner in the outfield. It'll be a little different today. Okay, and um, uh, moving on, talking about uh, the region that you're in now, obviously the East-West matchup, game three this season. A winner takes on the winner of the Cedarburg-Grafton game. Uh, do you see, if you do get by East today, a pretty good matchup with either Cedarburg or Grafton? Well, we played them both twice. We uh, split with uh, Cedarburg and we uh, beat Grafton twice. So it's a pretty big ball game once you get this far. You know, it depends how you play. Looking forward to an obviously pretty competitive game. The rubber match between you two teams. Uh, at this point, flip a coin, huh? Because it looks like the both teams are are uh, relatively strong going into the the this, this second game of the tournament here. And uh, I guess the, the the team that plays better will win. Is that the way you're assessing? Uh, yeah, you know, I just hope we keep the ball in the park and uh, when we have a chance against them. I think uh, they have a strong hitting team and play good defense. So hopefully we can do the same. And uh, anything to add, Coach? It looks like uh, you have the confidence that uh, it takes the beat East to knock them off. They've won a 10 in a row now. So uh, obviously it looks like they could be the favorite team today, but you're both playing uh, at Regner Park and you're both on a hot streak. So throw the ball out there and see what happens. That's what we're trying to do. Okay. Thank you. Well, good luck, Coach. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. That's uh, West Bend West Spartan head coach Chuck Schroeder. The baseball's coming up in just a little bit right here on AM 1470 WBKV. Door Tom Carter at Regner Park. They decided to start the game about eight minutes earlier than was scheduled, so we joined the action in the top of the first inning. Two outs and two aboard for Tom Becker. The catcher faces a one and one count from pitcher Mike Miller. The pitch. It's a strike, and it's one and two. Better set up the inning, Bob. Uh, ben Palmer led off by being hit with the first pitch of the game. He's uh, now standing on second base. Nick Palmer and the number two hitter flew out to right. Andy Schimmel, solid base hit to right, and there will we stand. First and second. three. Miller gets out of the inning. So nothing comes of the base hit, and we've played one half here at Regner Park. kids. the Spartans. Nothing, and the sun's coming up. You're listening to Playoff Baseball on WBKV.